Hello there, are you interested in learning how to change the query parameters of your SvelteKit application without reloading the whole page? Well, then you're in luck, because in this video we will learn how to do exactly that. So, let's dive right in. So, here's the basic idea. For the page with the query parameters, we create one special variable that holds all the query parameters that we want to have available. Then when we want to change one of these parameters, we select it, set the new value and change it. And then we go to the new page with all the query parameters in the variable. Let's look at a code example to better understand it. In simple terms, we create a special object called URL search params, set specific options in it, and then use a function called go to within our code to make it all happen. Then we make the options of the query parameters available on our page by creating some variables for them. Now that we understand the basic concept, let's apply it to a practical example, in this case a table that contains person data and we will apply sorting and filters using query parameters. So let's look at it. We will also add some styling to it using the skeleton UI package. For the table we will use the following boilerplate code. You can find it in the blog post linked in the description. It contains some test data and the table. Before we get into creating the two missing functions, let's follow the steps that we talked about earlier. So first we will create a special variable called search params that will hold our query options like sorting and age filtering. We also create a simple variable for these options. Now let's create a piece of code that keeps an eye on changes in these options and updates our display data accordingly. In this guide we are focusing on sorting data by names and filtering the data based on ages. Finally, let's create two functions that let us change the options sort name and filter age. That's it. We have created a table where you can sort and filter columns. In this guide, we learned how to change the query parameters of the URL without reloading the page in SvelteKit. It's all about this search params object and the goTo function. I hope this guide was helpful to you and if you liked it, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.